All right, what you're going to do is log into your Gmail account. And once you're there, you'll go to manage your Google account. You'll look to the left and you'll see a few tabs. Click on security. And once you do that, it'll take us to the two step verification, which is down the bottom. Scroll down and you'll see it's off. We're going to turn two step verification on. Now, once we do that, it'll take us to this uh, startup page scroll down and click get started here you'll have the chance to enter your password once more and yeah we're gonna have to do this a few times but you'll enter your password and click next and this will bring you to the verification side you'll enter a phone number in the section down here and then you can have it text or phone call click next once you receive your code and enter it, you'll get this message that it worked. Two-step is now on. Go ahead and click the next button. And now you're activated. Now from this point, you can just click the back arrow next to two-step verification because now we're going to create a new app password for our Xerox. This will take you back to the security tab. You're gonna scroll down and you'll see you now have app passwords. Right now you have none, let's create one. You're gonna have to enter your email password once again. All right, so now we're at app passwords. We've already done one for the VersaLink, and now we need one for the Work Center. So let's go down here to the bottom and click Other, and type in your device. Ours is gonna be the Work Center. And we're gonna do the 7855 and click generate all right so now we got our password here so let's just highlight this and let's click copy and done all right so now i want to go over to my web interface i've already logged in as admin so i'm going to go to properties and i'm going to look for email And you go to services or it's down here on the home page right there the gold envelope and just go over here and click settings then go to SMTP click edit and we want authentication so SMTP authentication and let's paste our new password and again and let's save all right now that we've done that, let's go back into edit and we can test our configuration. So test configuration here and uh, let's send this to ourselves. And if this works, you should get a green box for good. And we did. All right, there you go, guys. That is your fix for scanned email with Gmail on a Xerox device. This is the new solution. If you guys got value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also, if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon for future notifications and updates. Guys, we appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.